Hi there, this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags and you're watching the weekly, your weekly worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. So I'm coming to you today with a question that I had seen in one of our groups. It is which worship flag is the best one for warfare? So I have some thoughts about that and I'm actually going to demonstrate something that you might find useful but first off, I actually want to answer this question: Is it worship or is it um, is it worship or worship? And I think that the the best answer that I can give to you is what I have discovered um, and know, and I think you all know. We could go through do a, a an entire word study uh, about warfare in in the Bible, and it does clearly say that there is a battle. However, we are when we say that we're fighting in warfare, that we are fighting for from the victory, not for the victory. In John sixteen thirty three, it says that. Uh, uh, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That's what Jesus says. And so um, when we remember that that's actually what we're doing is to fight from the victory, it's just a matter of cleaning up what the Lord has already done by the work on the cross. And now I used to be... Um, Rah, 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 really, really into the warfare. And uh, I loved the verse, uh, Matthew eleven twenty. 20, says, for the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence and violent men take it by force. And I was just all about that verse. We were going to take, we were gonna do whatever it took to take heaven and to uh, offset the enemy, that he would not be allowed there. And so, um, but the Lord gave me such a, a revelation about what worship actually does. And it does all of those things. And now if you enter worship, this is my number one takeaway. If you enter worship with the intent that you are doing warfare, you have missed the entire purpose of worship because pr the purpose of worship is to actually worship our Lord worship our king. He takes care of everything else. Um, in the battle at uh, King Jehoshaphat in uh, Second, Second Chronicles verse 20, chapter 20, it talks about how, how he sent out um, the worshipers and they were just to stand and watch the deliverance. And then it actually said uh, that the Lord set an ambush. And so when you understand that when warfare, when you are worshiping, that is what's happening. But if you enter into worship as if that's going to happen and that's the goal, you have missed the point of worship. The point of worship is to uh, worship our Lord because he's worthy and he deserves it and there's nothing more that needs to be done besides that uh, and that let the Lord set the ambush uh, and but I do have just stay with me till the end and I have a couple of points adding on to that some flags there are differences in the flags and I want to explain those in just a second I wanted to let you know but the revelation revelation of God collection it will be going back into the vault very soon so if you don't want to miss the any of these incredible worship flags now would be the time to get those events we've got a lot of events for the fire catchers coming up we've got the classroom event which has been actually postponed one more week it's May 18th Rosie's uh, Rosie's going to be teaching on Saturday the 18th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or Pacific Daylight Ta Saving Time West Coast. So if you figure out where you are, if you're West East Coast, it's about noon. Uh, and Rosie hasn't actually created the event yet, but we'll get that link on this page. Uh, we have a book club. We are reading Bill Johnson's book, uh, Hosting the Presence, and that will be having the book discussion. You're welcome to join us whether you read the book or not. It's a great way to just kind of connect off um, online, but like off of Facebook. Uh, and that is, the link has been provided there for you. It is going to be May 31st. It's the last Friday in May uh, at 6.30. And we finally, we have the recharge uh, for fire catchers worship on the mountain in Whistler, uh, July 4th to the 7th. There's information uh, on that page that I let you. It's $50 uh, and you do not want to miss this. It'll be a fantastic uh, fellowshipping, flagging, food, friends, fun in Whistler in one of the most beautiful places around the world, hands down. Okay, so let's talk about what kind of worship flags um, are warfare. So there is a difference, okay? So, and I know that when some of you have 
have um, ordered some of these flags or purchased these flags, uh, I, I know that there's a special call on your life. There are some that are, so in scripture, we had the worshipers, which which we are all worshipers if we're using worship flags. But in that sense, then, then they had the soldiers. So there are different degrees or different jobs that we have to do. And so even among the worshipers, there are different, different, there's the leaders, there's the followers, there's the music makers, the flaggers, and all of these different aspects. So, so there is some difference and I'm not going to get into all of that right now. I just want to quickly show you. So this one is called El Gabor or, uh, the Lord is, my niece. So I find, so from Catch the Fire Worship Flags, anything that has a bronze, when bronze, when the Lord asked me, asked me to use bronze, I, I know that there's probably a heavier a duty call on that. That's, it's, it's the, it's not the flag itself, but it's the prophetic word that it proclaims. So right now in our revelation of God, we have the defender. It's a travel one. Uh, it's a two layer travel worship flag. And that one has bronze and blue. Okay. So that's that. This one is called El Gabor or, um, Lord is mighty. And then, which I don't have any more of these. I used to sell these. These are liquid lames. And I'm just gonna step back because I want you to hear the difference, okay? So there is a very, very strong sound. So in Job 27 verse 23, it says, uh, men clap their hands at him and, and, and hiss him out of, out of hiding. Are you still with me? There was an emergency alert on my phone. Can you give me a thumbs up if you're still with me? I don't see anything happening. It's really profound what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, you can, okay. So Job 27, 23 says, uh, it just gives that idea that there is a sound, there is a clap. And so, uh, heaven works on different frequencies than we have and I do believe that there is sounds and when you use a flag like that it's very very powerful I've seen it in use and when I teach work workshops I actually explain it in great detail um, the things that I have actually seen in the spirit and happened in, in ship atmospheres that have been shifted because of these flags and um, and so there is a difference and so catch fire worship flags actually does not sell these any longer I don't even know who does um, but there's sound that there something that makes sounds and often China silk also does make sound now the thing that I actually use the most in war in warfare uh, in at any time at this point are anything that is proclaiming my identity because the enemy cannot stand against you in your uh, in when you have walk in the fullness of who you are and so if I have had and recently I have had some feelings where I just need to declare who I am because I was feeling attacked uh, then I would come outside and I would worship and these are the ones that I would worship with and they are called the holy and anointed and so anything in the identity collection we have some others in the in the fire starters collection I, my, my mind is blanking but any of those are going to just make a declaration in who you are um, it recognizes you yourself recognize who it and that's the most powerful part of the of the warfare is that when we understand who we are that nothing that nothing can stand against you and so there you have it. That is uh, what I have to say. I mean, actually I have a lot more to say about warfare and worship, uh, but maybe in one of the classrooms. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the group. Bye.